Hey guys, Double Cost here. I'm on the Yu-Gi-Oh! subreddit right now for some amazing news. And before I begin this awesome news break outline thing, whatever, I'm on a news channel, guys, but it's really important, at least for me. But before we begin, guys, I just want to shout out Reddit and the Yu-Gi-Oh! subreddit as a whole. It's an amazing resource for literally anybody. Um, it has amazing threads to it, uh, with different budget threads, question threads for newbies and stuff. I'm going to make a video about Reddit and Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole later on, but just a really quick check-in right now. It's an amazing place. I get my news from it a lot. And with that in mind. Let's just get right into the news, guys. So, as you can see in one of the forums here, one of the discussion posts, it says Ash Blossom Super Reprint in Shadows of Ahala. Guys, if this is true, which there's a lot of evidence saying it is going to be true, it's going to be freaking amazing. So, it's going to be a super reprint. So, basically, the gist of this uh, whole entire post by It's Braids HD um, is that in this Konami, official Konami video, right, when they talk about Cyber Dragons, there's, in this corner right here, it has literally in perfect view, none like you can literally see Ash Blossom right here with black text signifying it is basically super rare because Shadows of Hollow, I'm pretty sure, is literally all holographic. It should be. Or maybe it's not. Uh, yeah, it should be. It should be all holographic. So if it's in Shadows of Hollow, it's gonna be a super cheap reprint. If it's in if it's let's say it's a mega print, a mega tin, I'm sorry, a mega tins reprint. Still super, super nice. So that makes at least one more super awesome, super meta hand trap. Very, very budget friendly right so we have ghost ogre already which is which were in the tins right now we have ash blossom effect failure was also very budget right so also just the significance of ash blossom i'm thinking about it right now like i play ash blossom and a bunch of other decks i play even though it's not necessarily a three of having ash blossom like readily available in this set not only sells the set guys but also like makes me very happy right so I, now i can actually like run ash blossom in a lot of decks so Hopefully it would be less than a five dollar card if it actually is a super rare in Valhalla It's gonna be under five. So going back to this reddit uh, post, right? It appears to be a super rare, uh, super rare print of Ash Blossom due to the black text and due to it being like all holographic set, right? You see also this guy says it's very strange how blatantly open it is too, right? It's almost like this if they purposely made sure it wasn't hidden, right? So Konami has these videos and they just made a crappy like background of like all these cards. And of course they have literally like one of the best meta cards ever, Ash Blossom. So this is like a huge newsbreaker, always for like Yu-Gi-Oh community. But one other news thing that I didn't really cover because again, I'm on a news channel, but very important for budget players is that the new Power Code Link set list came out, guys. So speaking of hand traps, in Japan in the OCG, this deck included Drone Lockbird, right? Drone Lockbird is still a pretty expensive hand trap. For budget players, so it's very, it's still very cheap, right? A lot of people would say they, they would easily pick some up, right? But especially for me, I want it in common, but not like a super short from common from Drone Lockbird's original set. I want a new fresh version. And apparently Konami added Effect Failure, these other three cards, and they removed, again, they removed Drone Lockbird. So it sort of really sucks because again, Star decks and Structure decks are like an amazing tool for budget players, again. So... One good note thing, one good thing to get from this is that we get Ash Blossom it, as a super rare, super budget rarity, amazing in Shadows of Hala. If this is actually true, if more hand traps are in Shadows of Hala, you bet I'm gonna buy some and record them, record some because I actually want some Ash Blossoms, or I might just get the singles again. But I really wanted another reprint of Joel and Lockbird again. Legendary Kaiba came out, it had Ash Blossom, had Joel and Lockbird, but the pull rates were like so crappy. And um, it was just wasn't that great, especially to buy something that's worth thirty dollars. And I wanted a super cheap Jolin Rockbird. Hopefully, it probably as a common, yeah, uh, definitely as a common. But apparently, Konami's not gonna get that. They might have their reasons, right? Maybe Jolin Rockbird's getting hit on the ban list, maybe. But I think that's it, guys. Um, again, budget players, look out. Um, we have hand traps on the rise, not on the rise. So I think that's it, guys. A really quick video again. But again, it's very relevant to like what I am as a budget player and hopefully you guys. So I think that's it, guys. Love a costume out. What's up, guys?